Well, it's coffee time for ANC. It's coffee time. It's supper time. It's Friday night. Are y'all having a good day? Did you have a great day today? It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. We're supposed to get some snow here. The temperatures are supposed to go zero. Oh. We're going to find out. I got on a thin shirt. I better... It's not it cold. It's 57 now, Mama. Yeah. You don't have to get down early. You can put it on when it happens. I'll get some out. <laughs> We're doing maple glazed pork chops tonight. Super simple, delicious. I'm going to turn them up just a little bit and let them start to cook. Let that thermostat, when it kicks off, it kicks off. It knows it, don't it? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put salt and pepper on these tonight because we're going to be doing the maple glaze. This was all Mama ever put on them, salt and pepper, when I was a kid. Still would. Still would if I let her. Salt and black pepper pork chops, and I'll put a little on the other side when the time comes to flip. Just now put these in. As you can see, they're just getting started. Put them in there with, a, with about a tablespoon of butter. And Mama had already put just a little bit of cooking oil in there. A drip. A drip, she says. <laughs> but this, and I'm going to rotate them around because that butter seems to be going over here. Now, these are going to be delicious. These are just some pork chops we found on sale about a month ago. And just put them in the microwave, deep, eat, uh, what do you call it, defrosted them. Mm -hmm. And there they are. And they're going to fry up. You're going to have to turn them up. And then I'm going to read the recipe to y'all. So you, if you want to make these, I'm going to give you the, the shortcut version here. So these are just pork chops, salt, and pepper. Or tender ones, really. There ain't no bones there. Whatever. It's Bones pork. With pork chops. <laughs> Boneless pork chops. Two tablespoons of flour will be needed. Two tablespoons of butter. Three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One fourth cup of maple syrup. I'm using pancake syrup. And a fourth cup of brown sugar. That's what we're putting in here today. But not yet. You have to have that little bit of patience. And so we're going to let these fry good on both sides. Get them good and brown. Get them pretty much done, basically. And once they're done, then we will add that glaze. And it's going to be delicious. Can I it your knife? Mama, I told oh, you to get a new one because I did. Oh, you touched them. I put pork. I didn't mean to touch them, but I'll get I did put the patted some butter in there. Patted some butter, 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 I'll butter. Get some which they're going to cook too. It probably wouldn't hurt nothing. But you know, if you know, you might have touched that wrong pork chop. Don't think I did, but I had it over them. All right, so we are cooking up a storm. What are y'all doing? Uh, looking delicious. Watching from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Hello, Shelby. How are you tonight? I'm going to turn these on up and let them get their cook on. That thermostat kind of seesaws back and forth. Which that's fine. That's what we're supposed to do. Teresa Clark thermostat. Uh, but it heats quick. This someone asked the other night. It's O V E N T. O V E N T E. Oven. Oven tent. I don't know. I saw it on Amazon. It was round. And they had it in the black version or the copper version. I thought we need a little round copper one. So that's what I went with. Quick and easy. Nice and whatever. Here we go. Nice and easy. So we're gonna let our pork chops just brown, get good. They're already smelling like good pork chops cooking. We're having carrots, green beans, not peanut, just plain old green beans. And Mama's gonna fix up a couple of potatoes, mashed potatoes, of course, with pork chops. And we've got some apples in there, don't we, Mama? Yeah, there's a little bit left in the bag. Pork chops and apples. Hi! Hey Marcia, how are you? Hey Donna. Uh it's snowing here tonight. So let's do Suzette. We're supposed to get one inch and that'll probably be in the higher elevations or the mountaintops. Grass. It's the the ground is warm. It's been sixty. I don't think we're gonna get any worries. Hello, John and Mama. Hey Billy. Hey Cindy. Hey Cindy. Hey John. I had two Cindy's in a row. Hey John and Mama. From Jasper, Georgia. Love you both. Thank you, Cindy. We love you, too. And we thank you all for being here. Oh, there's a stars. Is that a stars party? Uh, Yvonne Duncan. 
Hello, Miss Yvonne, back in Cleveland. Yvonne, I'm going to tell on your brother. He, uh, he told me the other night my popcorn had carbs in it, and I ain't another bite since. Ain't that me? I love popcorn. You know, he's telling me there's carbs in it. He was right. I looked on the box or the bag. I'm still going to have some. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are cooking them too long. Char Charles, cooking them too long? Maybe you didn't know I don't have it. Charles, you think we're going too long already? Well, Charles, I'll turn them over then. And Charles, these are a little thicker. I'll turn them over. Turn them down. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on this side. Not a lot. Just a little. Mommy, you want something secret put on these or just going to stick to the basics tonight? Stick to the basics since you're going to put a maple you're going to put some more junk on them, she said. Try not to make them so I can't eat them. All right, Charles. Tell me what's your uh, what's your cook time on pork chops? Now you gotta have your pork done. We ain't done no medium rare pork. Pork says it can be 145. But you are cooking them too long, Charles Craddock. Tell me how long you cook yours. I take good advice. Hey, Chrissy Howell, how are you? Hey, John and Mama from Spencer, Virginia. Hi, Peggy. Hi from PA, love watching you both. Well, thank you, Tana, uh, T-A-N-A, Tana. Is that you, Tana Elizabeth? Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Steve Duncan. Thank you. See, Steve's trying to make up for running my popcorn. And you're doing a good job, Steve. 200 stars is great. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Wanda. Hey, John and Mama. I always make fried potatoes with our pork chops. Debbie, Mama, Debbie makes fried potatoes with her pork chops. I'm a mashed potato girl. She's a mashed potato girl, Debbie. She likes fried potatoes. So we just had fried potatoes. I just finished them off yesterday. Going to get maybe three to four inches, Marsha? More? Marsha, what do you have? I think we're getting one. You must be up in Kentucky a little ways. Oh, hi. Hi, John and Mama, TGIF, I reckon. Snow in Central Ohio already, Christy? Marsha might be in, or is it, what's it, Marsha? Who's getting three to four? Marsha. Marsha. Marsha might be living up in Ohio. Is it already snowing in Ohio? It's coming our way. Said her daughter's supposed to start. Mama's friend said her daughter said it was supposed to start. Start around noon we didn't get it at noon. Ours is still 57. I reckon a front's coming through. Hey, John and Mama from Hampton, Virginia. Hey, Star Oldham, how are you? Hey, John and Mama, sounds good. It will be good, Alice. Checked on the skillet on Amazon, but it only had a 3.9 review rating, so I passed. This one here, Gene? You know, Gene, I don't remember if I check the review or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I would give it a, a out of five, I would give it a 4.5. It could be a little bit deeper, but the cooking is excellent. Uh, but really, it probably don't need it. It's as deep as a skillet. So it probably don't need to be any deeper, but sometimes when, like last night, it's chilly. It could have been that much deeper and we could have had a little bit different time with it. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. I really didn't look at the rating when I bought it. Sometimes I do. I think you did on the other one or something. Or something like sometimes I don't. It depends on the price of it too. Sometimes the ratings, if there's not many, you may just have one person wanting to 
not like it. And sometimes I love popcorn too, Pam James. Weather's iffy up in Kentucky. We pulled the crock pot out to make it a little concoction for the weekend. Rachel, what's your concoction you've made? We might make it too. No, I'm not saying anything about you cooking them too long. I'm talking about somebody else. Okay, Charles. I'm glad you settled that because I was like, now, Charles, that pork chop's got to be done. That's how rumors get started, Charles. You know, I thought she was telling me I was cooking these too long. Um, I'm like, oh, I even that long, yeah. Thank you, Charles. Krista Marlowe. And Britt, how are you? Make a little cut where they stick up. Yeah, and I should have done that. When I've turned them over, they've gone back down now, though. John, there's nothing wrong with eating popcorn. You can have three cups. Much healthier because of the fiber in it. Stella, that's what I said the other night. There's some fiber in there. It'll help you. Let's check our pork chops. They're coming right along. Let's see. Let's move that pan. See, they're laying back down. That's got a little tuft in it. Now, right, let's... Mama, you reckon you're going to attempt these? Or do you know by looking? You going to bring out the temperature? Yeah, I'm going to do that. What does it say? Pork chops needs to be 145 at least, but I like mine more. 130, it says. Well. Oh, uh, well, it says excluding pork. 145. Oh, that's what school we had at this school. Well, these are 170, 180, 189. I think these are done. 200, 200, 200. How are you letting it go down? Mama, it's instant. No. Look here, ma'am. See? Okay. Now watch. Halfway through. Yeah. Even the thickest part of that one. She trusts me. 208. Yeah. Where's that? It was right. <laughs> Charles was right after all. 205, 202. Okay. So we're going to take these up. I can't close that because we washed it. We're going to take these up and um, you can. We're going to take them up and now we're fixing to start the fun part. Now, don't worry, we're going to put them back. Okay? You want to scrape up some of this goodie off the bottom. Can y'all see me good? All right, Mama, put your goodies in. Um, yes. yes. So, in this bowl is the two cups of butter. That's what we need. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. <laughs> That's the reason you don't trust me with the temperature, ain't it? <laughs> two tablespoons of butter. What was I saying? This is cold butter. It's not being... It's um, not melting good, is it? It's, it's, it's not being softened, so... Mm -mm. It's straight out of the refrigerator. It's cold, cold, cold. Yeah. So you want to put your butter in there and let it melt. And just leave that little bit of grease off the pork chop. Won't hurt a thing. Won't hurt one thing. Now... We're going to put in our um, three tablespoons of apple. Before you do the it Yeah, yes, ma'am. I did. Want the flour, and then we're going to put a little bit of apple cider in there. Brown sugar. Brown sugar flour, not all of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to thicken it just a little bit. Go ahead and put it all on. It's already started. It'll be fine. So you're just going to put all your other ingredients in. So that's the butter, the brown sugar. Going to put the flour. It's just going to thicken it. 
We want to cook the flour for at least three minutes because I don't want raw flour taste. The only thing the flour is going to do, we're not really making a roux, but it, we're, it's just going to thicken our mixture a little bit, okay? See there how good? Now it calls for three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This is just Spring Valley Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. You can hold it over here and let me kind of use it. We're going to call that one. Two, three apple cider vinegars. So to measure it. That going to. I don't like to measure syrup. You don't quite get enough. This is a fourth of a cup, it says, and a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. So. Oh, right here is a fourth of a cup that I had the brown sugar in. You want me to measure the syrup? No, not necessarily. Put it over here and I will. Just for you, man. But I don't like to measure it. So you want to measure your syrup, mama says, mama says, mama says. And you want to make sure you just put a fourth of a cup. Don't get too overzealous with it. That's at least a fourth of a cup. <coughs> Did you put more? No, mama, no, not, maybe a splash. And it could have splashed up just a little bit. You know me, I'm a teetotaler, exact. Mm. Put your maple syrup in there and then get to stirring. This is gonna thicken beautifully. Cause you got that little dab of flour in there. I might have put a fourth of a cup in a tablespoon. Now this will stick, cause you got that maple syrup, you got that brown sugar, you got all that goody in there. But this is super simple. Let me tell you this again what I've got in here, okay? While this is, you're gonna let this get all together, you just keep stirring. So in here, we've got two tablespoons of flour. I just use self-rising. If I'd use plain, it probably wouldn't be as frothy. That's the only difference I've ever found. I don't worry so much about plain or self-rising unless I'm baking. Two tablespoons of butter and whatever grease was in there to start with. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a fourth of a cup of maple syrup, a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. If you don't want to use the flour, you can use cornstarch. Would it help with the gluten? Okay, now that's the delicious maple glaze in here. Now because it's sweet, I'm gonna add a splash of sugar, uh, salt. Dash of salt. A pork chop's already been salted. Uh, when I put that salt in there, all of a sudden I got hit with all the maple smell and it just, Kind of woke the whole thing up. Now I've got this on low to medium heat. It's not on ready to scorch or ready to burn, okay? Now that's the consistency you're looking for. Right there it is. Right there it is. That, and that color too. You want it to be a nice golden honey color and you want it to be pretty thick here let me sh show you the thickness see how it's kind of clinging to my spoon that's what we're looking for i'm going to turn it down because now I just want to keep it warm. I'm going to put my pork chops back in. And they're going to be in there just long enough to glaze. Okay. 
You just want them in there long enough to glaze them. Glaze them up. You can do this with ham, pork. And there it is, folks. Honey glazed, maple glazed pork chops. Now, let's spin. I'm going to make a little toast. It was alcohol. Don't leave out that apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. First time I made this, that was my only concern. I thought, I don't know if I want the apple cider vinegar in there. It's needed. It adds a beautiful little to it, tang to it, whatever you want to call it. It's delicious. All right, one more time, and then I won't bore you with it anymore. So, it's maple brown sugar glaze, and you can use it on ham, you can use it on pork chops, you can use it on anything you want to, actually. Two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Put that in there. A fourth a cup of maple syrup. You can buy the good stuff, or you can use the maple pancake syrup. A fourth of a cup of brown sugar, and you can use cornstarch to thicken it instead of flour. I've got, I've got it on my lip. It's thick It's 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 in that moment. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, there you go. We got this cut down on low low. I'm gonna put the lid on just to keep it hot hot, and uh, we're gonna call that done. So now all we're waiting on is taters, carrots, green beans, and apples. You got the apples a rolling? They're in the microwave and heating up because there's already cooked that apples for your pork chop. Okay. We'll just leave that right there and I'll use that to pick them up in a minute. So what's for supper at your house? Maple glaze, brown sugar pork chops here. John, there's nothing wrong with the oh yeah, I froze y'all up. Froze y'all up? Now you're unfroze. I know you're unfroze when you roll on your own. Hi John and Mama from Knoxville, Tennessee. Hello, Hi. Teresa. Good evening, John and Mama. Gloria, how are you? John and Mama Secret Honey Glaze Carrots. Um yeah, those are are those honey glazed or just maple glazed carrots? Did you do maple on them too? What? How'd you do your carrots? Oh, just brown sugar. Brown just sugar. Just a little bit of butter and brown sugar. Butter and brown sugar carrots. Not much, on them. Not much, just a little bit. Chicken pot pie, baby. That sounds good too. Chili. That was uh, nice, nice. And we just had a little bit left. It was so good because we're doing better with this little. Maybe I need this shallow kettle. I never need a heavy one. Can you read the tater mushroom? Well, yeah, Mom. I always have it right here. Trick question, Mom. Well, it ain't over here. Yeah, here it is. Right here it is. Right here. Look here. Wow. I believe that was her way of saying, "I'm fixing to bring you these taters to mash." I believe it. Was it, Mom? Oh no, I wouldn't say that. Don't get me choked. Putting a hot pad right in front of me. Ask me to get a tater masher. The evidence is stacking up. Okay. I 
don't know what you did with that knife, but there's your fork. Turkey sandwich from leftover turkey dinner. Brenda, that sounds good. Good evening. Hope you guys um, love the gnomes. Dorian, oh. we do love the gnomes. Dorian, you sent the gnomes. We showed them not before last. They're sitting right over here, Dorian. They've not gone far at all. Dorian, are those Valentine gnomes? Just between me and you. Mama says they're not. They're Mama's sitting over with Easter bunny gnomes that I got before. Mama says those are love gnomes. Those are hearts. Those are not only Valentine's Day. I said, Mama. She said, I'll put those on my Christmas tree. So, they're not just being used for Valentine's Day here, Dorian. We are using them year-round, I guess. You should share love and have love every day of the year. So. That's the the message I got earlier from her yesterday. When they came out. I said, oh, they're Valentine gnomes. Here. No, they're not, she said. Those are year-round gnomes because they're just hearts. Is that I think so. I said, oh, Mama, I guess you're right. I didn't argue with her. She's right. Love is your round. They ain't no sense of just love saying is love is one day. 365 days out of the year. Right. Thank you, Dorian. We appreciate you. Okay. We appreciate all y'all. Y'all are just so wonderful. Y'all are just adorable. Y'all are just wonderful. I believe somebody got served from a couple of places. Mama, I'm not going to have it against you. You're not. Did you want us to have cream and salt and pepper in these? Potatoes. If you haven't ordered your cookware from y'all's, this is one of their the little saucepans. That's got y'all's right there on the handle. Can y'all see that? Uh, put your cream in. I don't. Put uh, some pepper in there. Do you have this salt? Ah, yeah, cooking that salt. So let's tap some pepper in here. Some good old black pepper. I love pepper. I love black pepper. Um, I like red pepper too, but I like black on everything. I eat some foods just so I can eat pepper. My favorite thing to do to breakfast gravy is turn it the top of it black with pepper. I like a lot of pepper on my eggs. Uh, I'm just a pepper lover. I love it. Mama, not so much, but she'll eat some sometime. She'll eat uh, pepper on salads. Oh, black. yeah. Look at Mama there. She's all pretty and green today. Mama likes the green today. I think you got spring fever. I believe you're ready for spring. There you go. And there you go. <clears throat> Got carrots coming? Yeah. Put that down. What's that? Did you do that to yours? I checked the potatoes. It's all right. Okay. I'm sure that it's all right. Okay, man. It's it's clean. I started to say I thought I'd done it. I thought did I do that to your fork? No, it's just what's yeah. sticking in the potatoes. Okay, we've got supper on the table. That was quick. Now let's do a fly over. So there's our mashed taters. I just mashed. There's our apples, carrots, and green beans. And take the lid off. Pop chops in what I call it maple brown sugar glaze. We normally just have plain old pork chops. You drinking your coffee? You I'm want tea? No, I ain't gonna do tea tonight, Mom. I'm just gonna do this coffee. I don't trust tea. I am. I'm going to. It's the I did trust the tea. I just said that. I'm just. I don't get coffee and I don't need to double caffeine. Looky here. Maple glazed pork chop dripping on my plate. El delicious pork chop. They are 
good at books. This uh, maple glaze, like I said, you can use this on ham. You can use it on anything you want to. Believe it or not, you can use it on pork chops, or you can even use it on a cake. It's that good. Or a cookie, maple glaze cookie. All that is delicious. I gotta hurry and get these vegetables because if I don't, she'll be like, no. No, 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 no. I try to get her some good vegetables going. The mashed potatoes she eats good. Oh, I'm standing right here. I can hear everyone. Well, I wasn't talking bad. I was just talking to our friend mm -hmm. while you was getting tea. I'm trying to be good. Good enough, you play it. I know it. Some people don't think you even can. Some people say, why can't Mama fill up her own plate? Well, I'll tell you why. If I had let her fill it up, they would have been the pork chop, or she'd have cut it in half. They'd have been mashed potatoes, and they'd have been about half that much green beans, about half that much carrots. True statement. Statement, nothing. And I wanted to have some vegetables, so sometimes I fill it before. And it's just a southern thing, I guess, too. We do that kind of stuff. Mama fills mine up if ah. the notion hits her. That's good. Now there, Mama. This is like a, a Sunday lunch. I know. This is like, look here. That's like downtown. Like downtown, yeah. That's like downtown. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Can you see that good? Maple, brown sugar glazed pork chops, carrots, green beans. These are just uh, Italian green beans out of a can. And mashed potatoes and some apples. Let's place it, Mama. It's colorful, orange, white. Well, I made a beautiful plate and a wonderful supper, I'm just mm -hmm. telling you. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for nourishing our bodies with it, dear Lord. We just pray that you'll watch over us and lead God and direct us, Lord. And Lord, for everybody gathered here tonight, they have so many prayer requests and so much hurt and need, dear Lord. We just pray that you'll put a hedge protection on each and every one and, and answer their prayers in your time and your will and your glory. Lord, we have special prayer requests in our church. We have some of, some of our friends have had a great loss, dear Lord. We just pray that you'll be with each and every one of them. And, Watch over us, so lead, guide, and direct us. Be with our country, be with our nation. Your wonderful prayer. In your wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Mama, where are you going to start? I don't know. I'm looking at that orange carrot. I'm going to go for this maple glazed pork chop. Mm. Now, when I said you could put this syrup over a cake or a cookie, I wasn't kidding. Um, I might not start it out in pork chop grease. No. But with the butter and the flour and all the rest of the ingredients, that maple glaze can be used on anything you want to uh, sweeten up. Do we need sweeten on pork chops? Probably not. Is it delicious? Absolutely. Do you want me help you? No, I was trying to cut that and going to eat it, but I don't want it. It's fat. See, I'm stiff and dead because it's got fat. They're delicious. Perfectly done. Mmm. What do you say, Mom? They're good. Good for a change, anyway. Mm hmm. Wonderful carrots, a little green bean. You want me to share my pork chop with you, that piece of fat? <laughs> <laughs> I've got some on mine, Mama. That makes them taste good, though. Mm -hmm. Mashed potatoes and green beans. It'd be hard to sit down at this meal and not be satisfied. Because you don't cook the pork chops in the glaze very long, you still taste the pork chop, and then the glaze is just a little added 
and but with the sweetness of it, and then that apple cider vinegar on it, it balances out really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. You don't feel like you're eating a maple glazed donut by no means. It's just good together. And there's not a lot on it. Mm. I love that little bit of maple and the, the apple cider vinegar. That apple cider vinegar takes some of the. I don't know if I would. Um, Sweetness. Yeah, I don't know if I would substitute the apple cider, apple cider vinegar with red wine or no, anything like good. that. I think it needs that apple cider vinegar flavor. Because, you know, apples and pork chops pair together so well. So if you don't have apple cider vinegar, I would probably. Plain vinegar would be. Than yeah, I would just use a little bit of plain, but probably not three tablespoons. No. All right, folks, this is it for tonight. Friday night, Friday night. Mama, are you um, doing anything tonight, or are you just hanging in the house? I'm hanging in the house. They decided not to meet tonight. Did you eat too much last time you went down there? Did I eat? <laughs> you think that's food something? They're not having it, but I'll eat them out the house and all. They're saving that for the next time you can. Mm, they might be. I haven't thought of that. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's just going to be snowy and rainy. Probably not a good travel now. That's what it was. Because it, I had a feeling I'd have to come pick you up. Let's see, the temperature is still the same, though. I thought they were talking about a big drop tonight. We can uh, see out her kitchen window where we play. And if it's raining hard, we can see it or whatever. So, But it wasn't worth changing, getting out and getting down and getting stuck in it. You know, it's raining hard. Back in the summer, you got stuck in a storm. And it was raining sideways. I drove home and you... I know. The thing that bothered me the most is it didn't affect her driving at all. <laughs> she said, I have no problem. I said, Mom, it's been raining sideways. It's been the wind blowing. It's been bad. Man, nah, I just drove right like I always did. I'm a little fast. <sighs> she drives fast. I'm a fast person. Did you see her coming? <laughs> <laughs> Give her the right away. She's going to take it anyway. I'm going to let you cook again, Mama. I didn't cook. Well, you did cook. You did these cook. carrots, these green beans, the apples, oh, tapes. Oh, nothing. You didn't fix the pork chop. Apples was just warmed over. I'm enjoying it at all. So good. It's so good, I might have had somebody stop to chop your ear off. Mom, I've got ears to talk off over here. Oh, wow. That's what you always claim I do. Mm. I saw you talk so much, you talk their legs off sometimes. I had fried chicken breast, potato patties. Mm. Patricia, that sounds good. Glazed ham, all rotten potatoes, my dad's version of corn casserole. Oh, that sounds good. Good, Lynn. I've not had au gratin potatoes in a while. Corn casserole. Sounds. Corn casserole either. Cook, Girl Scout cookies. Are Girl Scouts selling cookies now? Are they out? Fish on Fridays throughout the land. Oh, yeah, Michelle, that's true. You what? Uh, do Lent. Most people do fish on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Mama would starve out. We'd always had fried fish on Fridays. And Bonnie says we sure do eat the heck out of potatoes. <laughs> Bonnie, we wouldn't eat them every day. Mama would have them every day. Good evening, John and Mama from... Uh, Finley, Ohio. Well, hello, Cherry. How are you? Hey, John and Mama. 
that's what I just got finished eating pork chops and broccoli. <laughs> now, Ava, we could have had us some broccoli too. You alright? Mm -hmm. I'm just running down my chin. And that's Ooh, that's good, Mama. <laughs> this is delicious. I might not even fuss if I have to eat this for lunch tomorrow. Well, the skillet's full. Not full, or two more pieces. Two pork chops. Mmm. Those might be good for breakfast. Mmm. That'd be sweet. Well, you don't do sweet stuff in the morning? I eat meat with my eggs. If I eat eggs, I just don't eat eggs much. I think this would be good with egg. Mm, I wouldn't need it. With eggs. Mom, you're out of the picture. <clears throat> you wouldn't eat this with eggs? Not so sweet. You mean ranch or style? The plain pork chop, I gladly eat with eggs. Does yours need to be washed off? Mm-hmm. I'd eat it with an egg. I probably wouldn't eat the egg. I'd just eat the pork chop and a biscuit. <laughs> mm, it'd be good on a biscuit. Good homemade biscuit. Well, that, I could eat it that way. Are you offering to make biscuits in the morning? No, I didn't offer to make biscuits in the morning. Did y'all see me try? Sometimes before she goes to bed, she'll say, I'm going to fix biscuits in the morning or I'm going to do this. And other times she'll say, let's just wait and see. That's when your odds go way down. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. You don't have anything to add? No, it's everything's good. I ate all my carrots, mm -hmm. all my green beans. And I'm glad I put them on your plate. And about all of my apples. But I don't think I can eat that big old pork chops. Not all of it. Well, you don't have to. I didn't figure you would. You usually get a half of pork chop in. It's pretty good for you. And you've got a few hours before you go to bed tonight. Mm -hmm. Alright, folks. As Mama says, I'll talk to you later. I'll, I better let you go. That's right. Peanut butter sandwiches. And That's Carter. That's my favorite. Oh, vegetables, chicken soup with peanut butter sandwiches, and I love that. Peanut butter sandwiches is a staple in our house. I usually carry me an emergency one in my, if I'm traveling, I'll throw me one in my briefcase and I'll, I've got it. I've got lunch, it don't matter if there's a place for lunch or not. I know where I'm gonna have something. And if I donate it, it don't hurt. Love you, Mama John from Lutenbach, Texas. Well, how, hello there, Rosa. We love you all, too. Where are they from? Lutenbach, Texas. L-U-B-B-O-C-K. It's in a song. I know that I heard it. Lutenbach, Texas. L-A or O, Mexico. Ain't that the song? Same song? Same, same place? Hello from the Roaring River, North Carolina. Oh, that sounds beautiful. John and Mama, you guys are so special. Well, thank you so much, Deanne. You're giving up meat on Friday, so that's good. A lot of people do, especially during Lent. Love Gnome and Valentine. Now that's exactly right. They are, Jan. They're precious. I don't know if somebody's asking a question here. I love Mama's shirt, Dory. That's two shirts. It's a <laughs> green one and then a flannel with green on it. It's a, well, it's a thin flannel. It ain't heavy, like a heavy. No, it's pretty, though, Mom. 
No. You look like springtime with that bright green showing. Well, thank you. The genus is you. Yeah. Well, thank you, Greta. Y'all are so sweet and kind. I didn't see any questions or anything about the maple glaze, and uh, you can watch it. I read it off two or three times, so if you want the recipe, it's on there, and then Nola will probably post it as well. And uh, it's good. And once you get it to this, I'm going to show you. Once you get it to your simmer, and you turn your heat off from it, it still stays good and pliable. It don't get hot like that. So you're still good. And uh, that's it. That's all we're going to do. Y'all have a great Friday night. Make some memories. Get the checkerboard out. Do some puzzles. Play a game. Watch some TV. Sit around and talk. It's interesting. Life is interesting. Make a day of it. So, uh, some of y'all are off for an extra day this weekend. So, if you are, enjoy that long weekend. And if you're not, be glad you got any weekend. That's what I say. I'm just glad to get any days. So, what a blessed time. Look at that. How good I'm Mama, you did good. Now, look at here, folks. This is a good... good. She did good. And she... Didn't eat the sweet, which is on the meat. She ate the vegetables. Give everybody give Mama a hand. <laughs> Show her some love. Mama, look at all these hearts. Oh, yeah. Out. Those are for you being a good girl. I don't know what I deserve to Look at them. Green beans. Carrots. Look at that, Mama. Ooh. They love it. They love it when you're good. I'm good about all the time. She I might say, not eat good all the time. But she I didn't say anything mean to me tonight. I'm not saying nothing to me. That's one night. We'll say one. <laughs> say what? We'll start with one. One night you was good to me. I'm good to you every night. Sometimes you say mean things to me. Mama hurt my friends in front of the film. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Have a good Friday night. Thank you all. Come back tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll do something else. We might cook again. We might be able to talk about it. Oh, but they forgot about it if you let it go. <laughs> Gonna hurt my feelings in front of my friends. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed night <laughs> and enjoy it. Make some memories and above all, laugh a little bit. Laugh a lot. It's good for you. Y'all have a blessed night. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. And God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.